In the beginning, God made heaven and earth. The earth was unsightly and unfurnished, with darkness over the deep, and the Spirit of God moved over the water. God said, Let there be light, and there was light. He called the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and morning. God then made the firmament and called it heaven. God saw that it was good. This was the second day. God collected the waters in one place, revealing dry land, which he called earth, and the gatherings of water, he called seeds. He commanded the earth to bring forth grass, herbs, and fruit trees bearing seed, and it was so. This was the third day. God created lights to divide day and night, serving as signs for seasons, days, and years. This was the fourth day. God said, let the waters bring forth living creatures and winged birds. He made great whales and every living reptile and saw that it was good. God blessed them to multiply. This was the fifth day. God then made land animals and wild beasts according to their kinds. Finally, God said, let us make man in our image and likeness, creating both male and female. This was the sixth day. On the seventh day, God rested from all his work. He blessed the seventh day and made it holy, for on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Thus, the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. This marks the end of the creation story, where God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. From the chaos of darkness to the vibrant life that now covered the earth, the divine order was established, and the world was ready for the unfolding story of humankind. God placed the first humans, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden, a paradise filled with every kind of tree and plant. In the center of the garden stood the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God commanded Adam and Eve to enjoy the fruits of the garden, but warned them not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. However, a serpent tempted Eve to eat the forbidden fruit, and she shared it with Adam. Their eyes were opened, and they realized they were naked. Feeling shame, they made coverings from fig leaves. When God discovered their disobedience, he banished them from Eden to prevent them from eating from the tree of life and living forever in their fallen state. Despite their disobedience, God continued to care for humanity. Adam and Eve had children, beginning the lineage that would populate the earth. Their story set the stage for the ongoing relationship between God and his creation a narrative of redemption and grace that would unfold through the generations. As the story of creation unfolds, it sets the stage for an enduring relationship between God and humanity, one marked by redemption, grace, and the call to repentance. From the dawn of time through countless generations, this narrative continues to inspire, reminding us of the unwavering care and love that binds us to our Creator. Each moment in history, every act of kindness, and every step forward reflects this divine connection, guiding us towards a future filled with hope and grace. Yet to fully embrace this relationship, we must acknowledge our faults and repent from our sins. The legacy of Adam and Eve is not just a tale of beginnings, but a continuing testament to the power of faith, the necessity of repentance, and the promise of renewal for all humanity. As we turn back to God, we find the path to redemption, ensuring that the story of grace continues to unfold through every generation.